The best PC racing wheel around will surely liven up any driving simulator experience. Whether you're pulling on the gloves of a rally driver or F1 athlete, the best PC racing wheel will completely transform how you interact with the game. It'll completely change the feel of an intricate Euro Truck Simulator 2 parking dance or plowing those fields in Farming Simulator. In fact, a racing wheel is one of the best PC gaming buys today. In our quest to find the best racing wheel, we've torn up the tarmac in our testing. We've strapped heaps of the most popular racing wheels today to our desks, so you don't have to make the mistake of getting one that doesn't suit you. Welcome back to another episode of HQ Products. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on any of our freshest uploads as soon as they're available. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at our selection of the top five racing wheels for driving games. Let's get started. The Thrustmaster T300 RS. Well, this one's at the top of the best PC racing wheel list for a reason. Its performance and features combine to create a kit worthy of any serious racing game enthusiast, but without the excessive price tag. In track racers like F1 or Project Cars, you can really sense a car's grip because of the superb motorized feedback and the speed of response to your inputs is quick and perfectly executed. The high quality force feedback is so good that hitting a wall in game feels like it'll actually hurt your hands at some points. It's precise, weighty, and really shakes when the game demands it, making rally games feel distinctly more involving. The only limitation the setup has is that the handbrake is mapped to a button you access with your thumb making rally games fiddly. As the wheel is often upside down or at unusual angles during races, you'll have to get creative on how to execute the handbrake function. Use your nose? You can get a separate stick shift and use that as the handbrake with the paddles for changing gears, but that's more cost. The Fanatec CSL Elite. The Fanatec CSL Elite isn't the cheapest racing wheel in our video, nor is it the simplest to use. Yet it's still a mightily impressive setup. The entry-level CSL Elite is one of the most versatile and immersive pieces of racing kit that a relatively moderate amount of money can buy. The Fanatec kit is highly modular, meaning you'll need to buy a base, wheel, and pedals for a complete setup. A shifter is another added extra if you can't bear the feeling of flappy panels for gear changes. There is a wide range of options over on the Fanatec website all of which can be easily configured through the online system. Our recommended loadout is the CSL Elite Base, Alcantara P1 wheel, and load cell brake pedals. With that configuration, you can be sure you'll be able to feel every screeching corner as you careen around a track. The CSL Elite's powerful single drive force feedback makes sure of that, and the load cell brakes really drive that realism home. They'll take some serious force to depress fully at speed, so, you might want to consider a full-frame sim racing setup if you head down the Fanatec route. The Logitech G923 True Force Racing Wheel We've extensively tested the Logitech G923 True Force Racing Wheel and found it to offer an enviable mixture of control, feedback, and response. So for that reason, it is decently suited to most racing games out there. It's the racing wheel we'd recommend to rookie drivers and even more seasoned veterans those who find themselves often hopping between different and varied sims. The G923 is not some tiny gimmicky wheel that can nary stand up to a controller. It's built for racing games. It makes the racing game experience addictive as heck, but it will also allow you to be more accurate and faster with any luck when racing. One feature that's unique to the G923 is True Force. This is a system that adds further feedback to the wheel response, the best way to describe it is sort of a low humming, which adjusts as you shift between sections of the track. It's not a must-have feature by any means, but it's a nice addition worth turning on in the few games that support it. The Thrustmaster TX Racing Wheel Leather Edition While this is similar to the T300 RS, our pick of the bunch, the TX Racing Wheel is still a worthy inclusion because the quality and control are just as excellent, and you get slightly more for the slightly higher price tag. This is largely the same as the standard version, but it comes with two extra elements, a three-pedal set and a detachable leather wheel. 
This leather wheel is excellent. It feels a little bit more cool and authentic by being leather. Downstairs, the pedal set is superb with full size, weighty pedals that feel responsive and comfortable at your feet. Their tuning is excellent as well. And each tiny adjustment seems to enact a change in accelerating or braking. And as a bonus, the steering wheel mount is still sturdy enough to hold it firmly to the desk, although a racing chair would probably get the best out of it. The Thrustmaster TMX Force Feedback Racing Wheel. This is Thrustmaster's entry-level PC steering wheel with force feedback. Force feedback is still one of the main things that truly augments and completes a driving experience with a wheel, which is why we won't look at a setup without it. The force feedback isn't as strong as other models, but it does work. And if you're on a tight budget, it provides a true force feedback wheel with 900 degrees of rotation and a set of pedals, which is pretty good value. The noticeable cutbacks do appear on both the wheel and the pedals, however. The steering wheel doesn't have the deluxe feel of the higher end units, and the pedals are a bit plasticky, offer little resistance, and are void of a clutch pedal. Something to bear in mind if you ever fancy upgrading at a later date. Well, with that, we've reached the end of this episode. All about the best racing wheels for driving games. What is your favorite driving game to play with a racing wheel? Make sure to get involved and let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a thumbs up before you go. Plus, if you want to see more great content and reviews just like this, subscribe to the channel so you're the first to see our latest uploads. As always, thanks for stopping by. See you again soon in the next one.